I'm here to tell you about your car's extended warranty. Hello, my name is Omat Jazz, and welcome to Devlog 1 of what this is going to be. For those of you who don't know, my name is Omat Jazz, I'm an animator and creator, and I have tasked myself with creating a visual novel by myself. And this is essentially Devlog 1, so without further ado, I'm just going to tell you what the story is going to be about. Now usually with a the story, there's three things to consider. The setting, the characters, and the plot. So let me dive straight in and use some stock images to tell you what I'm trying to do. So before I start going into detail about this, I'd like to say that I'm taking massive inspiration from a game called Coffee Talk. This game focuses on one location, which is a coffee shop, and several characters that interact with each other. From making short films myself, limiting the pool of assets to like one or two locations and a handful of characters and props, makes it easy to handle for a solo developer like myself. This is the principle that I'm going to apply to my own game. So let's get stuck in. Now the inspiration for this came about when I kept seeing these illustrations about cats eating ramen. I would usually see it as illustrations, t-shirts, and artwork of different cats of different sizes, shapes, in various setting scenarios, but they tend to be eating ramen. Those images stuck with me, and a game about you running a ramen shop and cats coming to the shop itself became the main inspiration for my visual novel. So a ramen restaurant or a ramen place is going to be the setting for the story. And for this place to exist, this is in a world completely run by cats. Cats with day-to-day -day jobs, cats that work 9-to-5, builders, office workers, mayors, and everything in between. There's actually a Twitter account which is like this, which is called Cats With Jobs, which I know is for fun, but imagine if this was taken seriously. A world that was actually inhabited by anthropomorphic cats that had jobs, much like you and I. And that's where the second point comes in, the characters. The characters can be a mixed bunch from the previously mentioned 9 to 5 workers, to even people higher up in society that want to get away from the hustle and bustle of being a high society member, and try to connect more with down to earth people, all centering on the location of the ramen restaurant itself. So with the setting and the characters in place, we can actually discuss the plot. The plot is very character focused, with each cat coming to the restaurant with their own personal problems. And the problem comes to life, or comes to the surface I should say, through the interactions and the dialogues that you participate in or that you witness between two various characters. After the problem is established, we find out that the restaurant is visited by spirits at the night time, or after everyone goes away to go home. These spirits have a personal connection with one of the characters that come to the shop. That's why they're there. And they hand you a personal item. This can be anything from a trinket, to a letter, or something personal that connected the spirit to the character that came to eat at the ramen shop. It is your job to decide whether they get it or not. This enhances the story, or it won't enhance the story depending on your decisions, and will affect the story as a whole. Wash, rinse, repeat. And that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So that's the story talked about, and I hope you got a rough idea of where I'm going with this. But now it's time to show you some of the artwork things that I've been working on. Here's what I'm kind of going for. You've got the backdrop of the ramen restaurant itself, and cats that appear on the top deck, or on the table, as you'd like. And when they're talking to each other, speech bubbles will appear with their dialogue. Now obviously I'm not going to be adding voice acting to this game for monetary reasons, but I would like to add some like reaction noises and stuff like that to give it a bit more character. And these are the concepts that I've made for like the main menu, the ramen selection or like the menu itself for when you actually select the ramen of what they want, and the main title screen of what you would see when the characters are talking to each other. This is obviously a starting point, sort of photo bash together to give myself an idea of what I'm aiming for, and then it would be my job to make my own artwork to essentially recreate this in my own style. And speaking of which, this is kind of where I am with the character designs. Now, usually with the character designs, I wouldn't want like a blob with ears, because essentially I would like the head to be able to be more expressive and be able to turn depending on who they're talking to. Example, if there's three characters and they need to look to left or they need to look to their right. So I'm going for more of like head and body aspect. The body is going to be facing forward and I would like the head to be able to look left and look right. These are all going to have to be designed in the sprites so they can be able to do this. And I would like to look into being able to have these animate, say for instance with like mouth shapes, blinks, and maybe even little idle animations whilst they're talking to each other or they're not doing anything at all. Just to make the characters look less static. So at the moment I've just been working on the form more, just because then once I've got the form then I can add things like hair and all the outfits and stuff like that. So kind of working on different head shapes and different body shapes, I did kind of like this one that you can see on the right hand side. It is very much my style, sort of the round eyes, the slightly big head, 
but also enough room in the body so if they want to move their paws or if they want to make gestures, they can do and you can also see the tail animate for instance. The body and head can change proportions ever so slightly for different characters, so we can have like a more chunkier cat and a more skinnier cat, but this is kind of the main form of what I've got at the moment. And that's about it. That's about as much as I've got so far. Um, I hope you like that. I'm not too sure. Usually this is like a starting point and then, you know, we go from here. But that's kind of everything that I've got so far. It's kind of the story and the characters initially designed. And then basically the thing that we go from here is we start going into the character designs a bit more and start refining everything. So um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, don't forget to give a little subscribe. And uh, hopefully this cat idea will work out well for a visual novel. I mean, if it doesn't work, I mean, sod it. Who knows? We'll just give them anime eyes and tits. See you later.